top body surfaces convey power and performance, while the stealth-like headlights, grille and sculpted lower bumper exude confidence and attitude. The uninterrupted tail-like graphic sets the rear apart. Range Rover Sport's imposing road presence is derived from its muscular stance, dramatic proportions, and short overhangs. 23-inch wheels are available in a range of finishes. The vehicle's profile is unmistakable. Range Rover Sport Dynamic brings distinctive design touches. Featuring satin burnished copper details, unique lower bumpers and matte graphite lettering, amplifying attitude and assertive presence. The Range Rover Sport offers a brilliant driving position. There's a logical relationship between the placement of the wheel and pedals and a very wide range of adjustment for the steering wheel and the front seats, which can be heated, ventilated, and massaging, depending on the specs. The sitting position is said to be 20 millimeters lower than in the Range Rover in an attempt to offer a more sporty feel. To that end, the windscreen is more steeply raked. The center console is placed a little higher towards the driver, and the steering wheel is slightly smaller. In reality, you still feel as though you're at the helm of a very big, tall luxury SUV. The interior design of the Range Rover Sport is an exercise in minimalism with few physical buttons and switches, and a streamlined appearance throughout the cabin. Buyers can choose from either textile or genuine leather upholstery and attractive two-tone designs. The dark-tinted chrome accents look particularly premium. Power-adjustable front seats are standard, but a set of chairs with up to 22 ways of adjustability as well as massage, ventilation, and winged headrests is optional. An integrated air purification system is available and is said to reduce odors, bacteria, viruses, and allergens from the cabin. In terms of quality, the sport's interior really impresses. There's a sturdy, high-quality feel throughout to rival the X5, and most of the materials match the more expensive Range Rover, which is great given the jump-in price between the two models. The entry-level engine is a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six that employs a 48-volt hybrid system and makes 355 horsepower in the P360 SE and 395 horsepower in the P400 SE Dynamic. When we tested the P360 SE, it needed only 5.7 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, but felt more sluggish than that around town. Our test vehicle delivered peerless ride quality though, which was appreciated over the broken tarmac near our Michigan headquarters. A plug-in hybrid P550E setup is exclusive to the fancy autobiography trim, and pairs an electric motor to the inline-6 for a combined 542 horsepower. Land Rover estimates the PHEV powertrain will motivate the Range Rover Sport to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. All models come with an 8-speed automatic transmission, standard, all-wheel drive, and an adjustable air suspension. The Range Rover Sport can also be had with an optional performance driving setup called Stormer Handling Pack, which adds rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring. During our initial test drive, we were impressed with the Range Rover Sport's blend of comfort and athleticism, and noted that its rear-wheel steering system made maneuvering in tight spaces less challenging than in other similarly-sized SUVs. The Sport impresses on the road. The air suspension is a little firmer than on the Range Rover, and you're a bit more aware of bumps in the road as they pass beneath you, but thanks to tighter control, those obstacles are dealt with quickly with very little aftershock. There's less vertical body movement over undulating roads, too.